please look at year one, two, three and four videos before this one so that you're clear on what's expected of children in year five. Here we have 587 add 475. The children again as in year four are encouraged to line up the digits, the hundreds, the tens and the units so that they are very clearly on top of one another. A line is placed underneath and then another ready for the final answer. As in year four, the children start on the right hand side with the, the least significant digit first. Seven add five is twelve. The two of our twelve goes in the units column. The one needs to go in the tens column but can't until we've got our answer. So it is carried underneath ready to be counted. 8 add 7 tens a 15 tens add the extra 10 we have down here is 16 tens the 6 goes here but the 1 needs to be carried again underneath our hundreds answer column because we haven't yet added up these two digits 500 and 400 is 900 add 1 is 10 hundred we put our 0 here and again we would carry our one this is actually giving us a thousands column moving our lines across we have nothing else in our thousands column apart from this one that we've carried so we put our one up here and our answer is 1062 this builds on what the children have learned in year four a harder example still is where children are actually encouraged to begin with a number that already has something in the thousands column. Using exactly the same principles, they must line up their digits. We have our thousands, our hundreds, our tens and our units. We put our line underneath for our answer column. Seven units add five units is twelve. Our two can stay in our units column but our 10, our 110, must be carried underneath so that we can add it to our answer that we will get here. We're now into our tens column. Eight tens, add seven tens, it's 15 tens, add the one, is 16. Again, we must carry our one because we've not yet added up these digits. We're now into our hundreds column. Five and six together make 1100. Add the extra one gives us 12. Again we carry our one, we don't know what our answer will be yet. We finally add our thousands, we have 3000, add nothing here, add our one is four. So our final answer is 4262. The children would be encouraged to do many examples of these so that they're very clear on setting out that their units, tens and hundreds, thousands must all be in the correct column. This prepares them then for when they come on to adding decimals. Decimals are trickier to add using the written method, particularly as you can see here where we have a tenth, but adding a number where we have a tenth as well, but we have a hundredth. Looking at lining up these digits, it's much trickier. Children are encouraged to use the decimal point to help them. And using the decimal point, we can see that we have 110 here, we have units in both numbers, we have our decimal, we have tenths in both numbers, but we only have something in the hundredths column in our second number. To encourage children not to get confused, we can place a holding zero here. Because it's after the decimal point, it doesn't mean anything. We put a line underneath, and we would also encourage children to put their decimal point in place before they start. We start with the least significant digit first. Normally that would be the units. Here, it's the hundredths. Zero add eight is eight. We're using exactly the same method as before. Four add seven, and again here we're talking about tenths. 
four and seven is eleven. Eleven tenths. Our one can go here, but our next one must go in our units column to push it over, ready for our next answer. Six, add seven, add one, gives us fourteen. Our one ten goes into the tens column, and then our one ten, add our next ten, gives us two tens. So our final answer is 24.18. It is much harder using decimals. There are more pitfalls for children. However, if they're, using, if they're clear on their method and they use it well, they should be able to use it to get their correct answer each and every time.